about to hear a romantic drama, June House Party, adapted from a story in Sweden Smith's Love Story magazine, featuring the love story girl in the role of Myrna Parrish. This is the love story of Myrna Parrish, who has come up to the Tor Omega House Party at Center College as the guest of handsome and attractive Randy Hollingsworth. But something is radically wrong. We find Myrna sitting by herself at the Tor Omega dance, a wallflower, while Randy, her official escort, dances his fourth dance with the fascinating Doris Wintergren. But wait, someone cuts in, and now Randy is coming over toward Myrna with another youth in tow. How can he do a thing like this to me? This June house party is the biggest event of the year. And when Randy asked me to come, I thought that it meant that he... Now he's spending all his time with that Doris Wintergren. <laughs> and I've been looking forward to this for months. And all that money I spend on new clothes is to be treated like, like an old shoe. I, I'm not going to stand for it. I... Here he comes now. Oh, here you are, Myrna. Randy. Myrna, this is Todd Burnham. The one and only Todd Hunter Burnham the third. Todd, this is Myrna Parrish. You better be better than good to her, or I'll put you up for monitor next week. Oh, how, how do you do? do? You do? Well, I'll see you later. Oh. This is rather rough on you, Miss Parrish. Uh, I don't know what you mean. Oh, yes, you do. Now look, you don't want to dance, do you? No, I really don't. All right, then. Let's get out of here. Let's take a walk around the campus. Thanks. That'd be swell. Come on. I think a little air might do me good, <laughs> in spite of the fact that I seem to be getting plenty of it from another quarter. Oh, Randy's head's just turned a little by that Wintergren dame, that's all. Well, you really can't blame him. I understand she's got several millions in her own name with a penthouse on Park Avenue. She has her own car and everything. She doesn't scrape along on $900 a year in a classical course at Borden Junior College. Well, it... It does look as if she reached into the fraternity house and picked up the most eligible and attractive bachelor in the place. And the guy that brought her is pretty burned up, too. I, I think I'll, I know how he feels, Todd. Uh, are they really in love, Randy and Doris, and me? No, of course not. He'll probably have forgotten all about her by tomorrow morning. He's taking you on the picnic, isn't he? I suppose so. And unless he and Doris are so much in love... That... Doris? In love with anybody but herself? No, don't be silly. That girl has too much money for her own good. She's going to wake up someday and find she's kicked over one kettle too many into the fire. He's too late, then. And Randy is crazy about her. Randy's a blooming idiot. Oh, I guess it's me that's the idiot. I mean, I can't seem to help loving him. When you love someone as much as that, you can't be proud or reasonable, but just plain miserable. Morning, Myrna. All ready for the picnic? Todd, I, well, I saw Randy's car and I thought... Come on, hop in. Randy sent me for you. We're to pick him up at his room at the fraternity house. Oh, I see. All set? Let's go. We'll just go round to the house and pick up Randy. Todd, take me to the station instead. What? Now, I'm not going on that picnic. I'm going back where I belong. Here, now, wait a minute. What good will running away do you? Not much, I guess, but it'll save my pride and it'll cheat Doris of the chance to laugh at me. It'd serve her right if you stuck it out and won Randy back to his senses again. Oh, that's hopeless. What could I possibly do, Todd? Stick around. Don't forget, it's often darkest just before dawn. All right, I'll stay. But I'm making a mistake, Todd. Making it with my eyes wide open. And I hate deliberate errors. Well, here we are. Now, 
You wait here a minute, and I'll run in and see if Randy's ready. Todd, isn't, isn't that Doris Wintergren's car, that car parked right in front of us there? I, uh... Yes, I think it is. You wait here. I'm going in and see if Randy's ready. Where's his room? Here, you can't go in there. The tall Omega sacred male sanctuary, no women allowed there. If Doris can go in, I can. Which is Randy's room? Second door to the left as you go in. For once, I'm going to take things into my own hands. After all, what can I lose? Things can't be worse than they are. I, oh, I guess this is the door. Better hurry, Randy. Oh, ready, Randy, darling? You'll be late. But aren't you going with us, Randy? Why, I... Oh, really, Randy. If Wintergren did come to this house party with somebody else, and you're certainly worth more than second fiddle, aren't you? Well, I... Uh... After all, I'm your house guest for the week. Right you are. Uh, see you at the picnic, Doris. Maybe. Come along, Myrna. <laughs> Come on, How about another dip before we go back? No, thanks, Todd. I don't feel like any more swimming today. Where's Randy? Out there on the float with Doris. Oh, he's back at it again, is he? I thought after he brought you out here and was so attentive the first part of the day that everything was okay. Well, it was until we went in swimming. Oh, Todd, Doris is a marvelous swimmer. Randy seems to have got himself fascinated all over again. Here they come now, swimming in from the float. Say, she does swim like a fish, doesn't she? all Randy can do to keep up with her. If he doesn't, it won't be for lack of trying. Oh, Todd, how can he do things like this to me? Shh, here they come. Hurry up, Randy. Got to get dressed and get back to town. Look in the me, Doris. There he goes now into the bathhouse. He never even saw me. Oh, I was crazy to come. Another fool. I'm leaving as soon as we get back to town. Then follow through on this last number, Myrna. Come on. Make Randy drive you back to town. And then stick around for the wedding. The wedding? Sure. The big feature of house party week is the mock wedding. It's a tradition of the fraternity. Oh. They stage it in the chapel. The old vicar officiates. He's, he's about 180 years old and retired. And this is the big moment of his of the whole year. All very colorful and very lovely. What's the use? I know when I'm licked. I was a fool to let Randy know how I could care. Will you do one thing for me? What is it? Make Randy drive you back this afternoon anyway. All right, Todd. I'll do it for you. Gosh, Todd, the chapel looks beautiful with all those decorations. Where did you get inside? I told you you'd be missing something if you didn't stay for the mock wedding. Where's Randy? Oh, he went to speak to the vicar about something. Oh, that's right. He's going to play the part of the groom in the ceremony. Oh. Say, it would have done your heart good to see that meeting between Randy and Doris after she got back from the picnic. What happened? Oh, she gave him quite a tongue lashing. Ready to go in, Myrna? Well, I'll see you two later. We'd better hurry. We're late as it is. You aren't exactly enjoying this, are you, Randy? I'm sorry. In the store, here. Hey, uh, who's going to be the bride? It's not me. It's bad luck to rehearse your own wedding. Yeah, Randy's the groom. He's lucky he's not superstitious. But I wonder if Doris is afraid to play the bride. Oh, oh. Doris! <laughs> You're elected to play the bride. The other girls are all afraid to. They think it's bad luck. No, worse than that. You might wake up married to the Bruce. Oh. <laughs> no, thanks. I'm taking no such chance. No one has asked you to yet, Doris. After all, the groom is supposed to select his own bride, and I believe the tradition calls for the girl you bring to June week. Well, what do you know about that? Myrna. Myrna, will you do me the honor of being my bride in this ceremony? Come on, kid, don't be nervous. Just put your hand through my arm. That's right. <laughs> beloved, we are gathered together here in the sight of God and in the face of this company to join together this man and this woman in holy matrimony, which is an honor of What's the matter? Nothing. Well, why aren't you at the refreshment table with the others? I just want to be alone for a few minutes. I I hope the ceremony didn't upset you. Oh, it 
was a lovely ceremony. You know, of course, my dear, that the ceremony is fully legal and binding if you two are in love and care to hold to it. You, you mean you aren't retired? I am retired, my child. But I can marry people in the church until death ends my service to humanity. L legally married? How can that be without any license or registration? The common law statute. Oh. You can hold Randy Hollingsworth as your legal husband if you want to. <laughs> I could hold him if I want to. <laughs> well, what's the joke? Uh, goodbye, my child. God bless you. Randy, since you're now my legal husband, do you think you can find time to drive me back to Borden? It was a mean thing to do to you, Myrna. Yes, wasn't it, Randy? You wanted so much to spite Doris that it dwarfed everything else. But you have the last laugh after all. She didn't succeed in getting you, and now you're legally married to another girl. What do you mean, uh, legally married? Just what I said. Are you crazy? That was just part of the mock wedding, a part of the June week pageant. But it's legal. Uh, how do you know? The vicar told me. It's absolutely legal, Randy. I can hold you to it, according to the laws of the state. Oh, I see. <laughs> I'm not going to. Well, what are you going to do? Go well, back home. I'm licked. You never cared for me, not even in the beginning. So I'm going back where I started from. What else can I do? Well, you could make the last dance of Tall Omega, Mrs. Hollingsworth, if you wanted to. Or maybe you don't care to appear with your new husband this early. Randy, don't, don't kid me. It's cruel. It's cruel. Oh, darling. Some men are so thick-headed it takes a landslide to open their eyes. I've been in love with you since the first. You... You mean you want to stay married to me, Randy? Try to get out of that fully legal ceremony, Mrs. Hollingsworth. Oh. oh, dear. What are you crying about? Because I'm so happy. Well, brace up and go to that dance with me tonight. And Lord help that blonde menace if she tries to start anything. Oh, she won't. It's June week, Randy, and the man that brought her here is crazy in love with her. June. Month of roses, graduations, house parties, and... Bride. Very happy bride. You have been listening to a romantic drama featuring the love story girl and presented with the permission of Street and Smith, publishers of Love Story magazine.